To make our bird in a fig tree, we'll start with the bird. So I am going to place my bird in the center, and I'm going to start by making the bird's eye. You can make the eye however you'd like. I'm going to do a black circle, and I'm using my black crayon so you can see it, but I do suggest using a, um, a crayon for this to draw. Now I'll do the bird's beak. Then I'll come over the head, over the eye to create the head. So I'm going to come over this way and stop. Now I'll do the um, back of the bird. So I'm going to come down at a diagonal and stop. And then I'll make the belly of the bird. So I'll come here, round it, and meet back at that back side. I can put on a wing. And then I'll put some tail feathers. Now I can put feathers on the head or um, a shape there um, to show a little tuft of bird feathers. I'm going to do a line with circles like that. Now that I have my bird, I can move on to drawing the tree. So I'm going to come down towards the corner, bring it up like that. I'm going to come down from here, bring it over like that. This is kind of like a big trunk. And then we're going to have the branches go out to the sides. I'm going to skip over my bird and draw a branch here and another line to give some thickness to that branch. I'm going to come over here, bring it over, and come from the bird and bring it over here. Now I can make branches coming off of those first two branches. So every time I do it, I'll just make sure that I have two lines to show the thickness of the branch. While well, I have my black crayon, I'll go ahead and add some leaves coming off, just a few big leaves, and then we'll add some other leaves as well. So just choose a spot, you can draw a little stem, and then draw a shape that kind of looks like an upside down teardrop or raindrop. If you want to, you can put a line down the middle. You could even put lines off the side if you wanted to. I'm going to continue to add a few more of those. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and get out my green crayon. So I'm going to get out several shades of green. I have yellow green. I have just regular green. And I have green yellow. So I'm going to use this to make more leaves on the tree. So these leaves are just going to be a basic oval shape. And what I'd like to do is combine my greens so that each leaf kind of has several shades of green in it. I'm going to come here, make my oval shape, and then I can pick another um, color and kind of add that to it so there's more than one green there. I can do another one here. and then 
and add some more color in that. So some of them might be lighter leaves and some of them might be darker leaves like this one. And I'm going to keep going until I have that um, more filled up. I'll also take my leaf, my greens and I'll add color to the leaves that are hanging off of the tree that we just did. Once I have all my green, I can move on to adding color to my trunk and to my bird. I'm going to use brown for my trunk and I'm going to use um, just multiple bright colors for the bird. So here is an artwork that has all the color of, that I'm going to be using with crayon completed. I've filled in my tree brown, I have my leaves different shades of green, and my bird is brightly colored to stand out. Now I can um, start using my watercolors. Uh, before you use the watercolors, you can choose, if you'd like to, to put a line at the bottom of the tree and then have that be one color as a horizon line for the bottom and then another color for the background. Um, or you can leave, have it all be one color. So that's up to you. I might go ahead and put just a low, just a low area at the bottom and then I'll paint those two different colors. Now I'm ready to paint. So I'll set my crayons aside, get my watercolors, and I don't want to just put, you can certainly use blue in your background and green down there for grass, but I also think it could be fun to play around with different colors. So I'm going to do um, purple for the ground. And I will use, hmm, I'm going to do orange for the sky. Maybe I'll even put some red in my sky too and mix them. So I can start adding my color. And I'm, and it, What's nice about using the crayon is if you press hard enough, then you can go um, over top of it and it will repel the watercolor. So that way the crayon will still show up. And I'm just gonna work to finish adding in my color. If I wanna add in a little red, I'm just going to mix that while it's wet on the paper, my red and orange. I have completed my bird in a fig tree. I love how colorful it is. I love the watercolor splending in the background. I love the bright leaves on the tree and the bright bird. Um, enjoy picking out your color choices. Really work hard to press down with that crayon to make that your leaves and your tree and your bird stand out in the picture. And, um, and just have fun making a beautiful artwork.